Hey, that's somebody's portrait over there. Neat. I could wonder be. who it is. You could be Muse, I guess. Hard to say, considering we've... Well, no, it. It, well, it's hard to say because, well, we've only seen her face like once and only a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Remember how those uh, spinny blades and all the kind of crushers and spikes used to move nice and smooth? Oh, fuck that shit! <laughs> I actually really like them moving in time with the music. That's a really interesting idea. It does make the challenges a lot more annoying. Oh, this is straight out of Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. Except the pillars don't go down in the fucking bottomless pit after you touch them. Which, by the way, does make that whole section a lot more challenging. If you haven't played Shinobi 3, I do recommend it. It's a great game. Last level is a bastard. Ow. I am in danger. <laughs> there we go. Fucking bat. No, go away! <laughs> Fucking bats, I swear. <laughs> Not having a good day. Well, this was dumb. <laughs> that didn't do nothing to help. Much like that, all things oh. considered. Something needs to be done oh, slightly I get, well, I get what you gotta do now. You gotta go in there. And back, and then forward, then hit that, then wait. Just gonna need to play a game of reversey here, and we're good. <laughs> and there we go! Fucking ring? <laughs> Bastard ring, nope, throwing me now, right into the steam. Now things have gone tense. There we go. I don't want to be a steamed ham. Hmm. How to prevent conveyor bullshit? Just jump. Ingenious. Honestly, given it doesn't look like they crush you, I don't think why you have to bother. I'm not taking chances. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what the hell? Dying, was that? apparently. <laughs> oh shit, he is dead. <laughs> what? I didn't push the map button. God damn it. I think the table is getting in the way of my controller. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, fuck. This is bad! Take but, a look like a man and deal with it. But a great, way, a great way to skip the level, though. <laughs> yeah, abuse iframes. It's cheap, but it works. It's not cheap if the game gives you the mechanic. It is. <laughs> Not. <laughs> That's it's, the way I justify everything. It's very cheap. Don't lie to yourself, it's very cheap. <laughs> the game gives me the mechanic, I am therefore allowed to use it. What? You almost got crushed there. Let's go, let's go. The train is late. Uh! <laughs> I keep getting steamed. This looks dangerous. Oh, 
Okay, maybe not. This looks like somebody wanted to design a puzzle like that, and somebody else said it's too easy, but we'll stick it in the final level anyway. Eh, might as well. Oh great, more spiky dildo. <laughs> the guest Forbidden appearance of spiky dildo. From Super Mario. Sounds World. like it's gonna be a drag queen name. Okay, the thing you definitely want to do is either hit the fucking lantern or jump after uh, hitting the fucking ring. Okay, the lantern thing works great. Does it need to fly up? I need the other one. Here we go. No. Don't hit the spikes. There we go. Spikes are bad for you. Okay. Oh, and woe betide you if you haven't figured out how to do the whole raffle uh, hook to rope jump and so forth by this point in the game. If you didn't figure that shit out by now, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Steamed ninja. <laughs> they don't think it'd be like it is, but they do. I also noticed they're putting a lot more checkpoints in this region than the rest of them. Oddly enough. I guess the Phantom was just a really big fan of checkpoints. I guess so. Fine by me, I suppose. I'm also a fan of checkpoints. Oh, I see you're a man of culture as well. What the fuck happened to that guy? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck happened? I think he just left. You can't leave the game. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Apparently you can. Apparently you can leave the game if you just want to. You can leave if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, try to crush me. <laughs> if a ghost is near me, push me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I forget what that show is called. I think it's like Ghost Adventures or something. It's so fucking dumb. That sounds stupid. Is that you, Mr. Boots? <laughs> what? There was like a ghost called Mr. Boots, they wanted to find him. Naturally, they didn't find shit, but they were making a big fucking stink about it. <laughs> I still think the funniest line is, If a ghost is near me, push me! <laughs> it's like fucking what dude- What is the ghost ghost what if the ghost can't actually operate on the corporeal plane? What that asshole? It's just a bunch of dude bros trying to hunt down ghosts. <laughs> that actually sounds fucking hilarious. It is. But they take it so seriously. That's why it sounds hilarious. What the fuck? What, what happened? What the fuck happened there? <laughs> it's Phantom's the diabolical fuck? traps! <laughs> fucking what the hell? Fucking Phantom in his diabolical traps. He learned some tricks from Dr. Robotnik, obviously. <laughs> and his diabolical traps. <laughs> That's what we call glitches back in the day. Diabolical traps. <laughs> Best fucking explanation you can get. Music is calling him down. Are we gonna fight Sir Richard Rose here? It's a shrine. It's a shrine to the muse. Ah, get it. <laughs> oh, it's not Sir Hello. Richard Rose. It's just the Phantom. 
creepy eyes. A visitor! I must be having visions again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was fated. Who are you? Did you get my message? Say what? <laughs> How dare you trespass here? Oh dear. I'm here to help. You have been cursed. Curse? It's all true then, isn't it? All of it. But you can end this now. Remove the mask. Preposterous! I shall make short work of you. I am not your enemy. You created this scroll, didn't you? Impossible. How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough. You will pay for your treachery. I'm going to smack the dickens out of you. <laughs> Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Bullshit! I'm here to set you free. I shall have none of it. Prepare to die, intruder. So do you like playing tennis with Ganon? Well, this is kind of the same thing, but with more flavor. I love that shit. Well, we're playing some tennis. Time traveling tennis. <laughs> I love that kind of uh, ping pong of. shit. Okay, watch out. There's some lasers in the 16 bits. And they hurt. So this boss fight has multiple things going on for it. Which you'll need to uh, watch out for. But the number one thing to watch out for is the tennis. You miss that shit, it's gonna explode and it's gonna hurt. And he definitely tries to make you miss. Even going so far as to shoot the damn thing away from you. That's a curveball. He's a piece of shit. Oh yeah, you can use these little phantom things here to bounce away. And maybe they stay off the ground. The lava is floor. Oh, I wonder who the real one is. <laughs> is it the one flashing? No, it can't be. That would be too easy. Hey, put that away. The fuck? Put that 3D thing away. That looks awful. <laughs> Just go around the lasers, you'll be fine. Not this shit again. I guess they can't hit him. Yes, they can. Oh, well, that one worked. Oh, now you gotta stay, well, in the lines rather than outside of them. It's a nice inversion. But I didn't ask for it. <laughs> Time travel tennis, go! Ah, shit! Well, you I'll just got him dead. Actually. I'll just keep chopping you then. I like how you can use him with a rope dart. <laughs> Here we go. Got oh. him. Got him. Man, you need to wash your ass. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Muse. Ah, uh, Phantom. Phantom. That's weird, he looks kind of like... Ah, eh, fuck it, I guess. Oh dear. The music box! No! Ah, oh, my memories! Uh, How did we get out of here, dickhead? <laughs> this is bad. Let's get out of here. Okay. Nice, sure. nice brief explanation. This is a bummer. <laughs> Let us go now. <laughs> I really hope we can make it out fine. I'd love to finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get there in time? <laughs> the fucking shopkeeper is saving us? Yeah. I knew He's I... the third one. There's three of them. I knew I should have gone myself. But the shopkeeper? <laughs> yeah, the shopkeeper is the third one. No, I'm... He is, after all, the hero <laughs> of the West. The fucking... 
<laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we made it. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom. Do you want to try the Tower of Time challenge I designed? <laughs> You're a dick. Give him some time. He has quite a right. He has had quite a right. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. Can't you just breathe just this once? Oh, yeah. Oh dear. There's still something. What's wrong? The curse. The mass energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. All those walls. Hey, you're safe now. Don't worry. It's here. It wants to take me back. I nearly. If I thought for a Help. moment it. He was saying Rui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're back. Oh, hi. Can oh. you not do the thing? Oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. Its full force has been unleashed. We were fools. That was their plan on all along, to let the curse grow in power as we waged in an ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate us completely when he thought we had won. What are you talking about? Surely you won't all give up so easily. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing! <laughs> yes, we must do the thing! The order is down to the three of us. You know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we should all be able to do the thing! <laughs> and so, we do the thing. THUNDER! Oh! I do have to disappoint you though, it's a cutscene. Oh! An interactive cutscene! Yes! Mash that A button! I love this boss. I love this boss, it looks so beautifully designed. Mash that A button, boy. Did you notice my thing? That ought to do it. I think he noticed. Good thing I'm indestructible. <laughs> nice. And that's it. I mean, really, that's it. This is the credits. That's pretty, fu <laughs> that's pretty fucking cool. If a little anticlimactic. Well done, sabotage. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of climax and then no payoff. That is a little irritating. Who is CMF? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe anyway. he's one of the music designers. Anyway, this is it. We we did it in two sittings, minus the power seals. Oh, the power seals can be just put over us after uh, the credit sequence is done. So we gotta credit these people, man. These people are absolutely awesome. That was fucking fun. Well, we got a bit of time. Uh, final thoughts? Uh, I... I actually really enjoyed this game. Um, keep in mind, like, I watch, but the gameplay was fluid, it was very fast, and you got through, like, everything just so quickly. Once you learn how to do all the different movements and blend them into one another, you just went from point to point to point to point to point. There were a few puzzles that were a little BS or a little difficult that kind of just went over that kind of difficulty setting into just fucking you about. Like, I swear 30 of the deaths in this game were purely on that one fucking crusher. Yes. But it was good, and I enjoyed the story immensely. There were a few little, like, little references to things, and of course the absolutely hilarious uh, meta-commentary on the game itself. That was always a lot of fun to watch. But I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> the story for what it is is actually very interesting. Although there are a few points that you're just going, What? Such as the entirety of the Skylands area. What the fuck kind of credits are these? <laughs> the My ass is crew? The... <laughs> I don't know, man. I have no idea. Sure. <laughs> anyway. What about you, man? I have game, game nuts. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, g <laughs> game is good. <laughs> I mean, what else can I really say? If you have the baggage of old uh, 
old school ninja games when this is even better because it's about oh, fucking yeah. time you get a, a follow up to that but if about not, time <laughs> there's a good reason we're taking a break <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but stack overflow is thank. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, game is good. Uh, there's not much f from for me to say really, because well, it, it's just that kind oh, of thing. Oh, the, de the video developers guild of Quebec. I'm like, what the fuck does that even say? It's just that the kind of thing. Uh, this this is just the kind of thing about these kind of good games. There isn't much to say about it because what's good you can clearly see for yourself. So me, I would just be repeating myself. There's also one of the good things about this game is that it's very much a lot. It's very up in front. Everything that you need to know about the game has been presented to you. There isn't anything uh, controversial or anything that you need a deep dive on that we really need to get into like in depth to explain why it's good or why it is the way it is or what our thoughts on it are no blue balls no blue balls no oh, look at this shit weird <laughs> the cowboy when the mass shattered into pieces and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse why yeah you're a cowboy wow talk uh, talk about a long story well, you asked. Anything else I can help you with? I don't know, I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. Unreliable narrator? Interesting. Hey, Famicom couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the Messenger 2. Message harder. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we need one shit joke to end on. But yeah, good game. Yeah, that was fucking good game, really. Good game. I might be picking this up myself, and I'm definitely going to be looking into the soundtrack. Good game. That was a lot of fun. I especially the one thing I do want to talk about is the music. And the seamless blending between the 8-bit and 16-bit during the latter half when you have to switch back and forth. Yep, it that's genuinely, good. It, you, like, there was enough that you felt there was an upgrade whenever you went from 8 to 16-bit and a downgrade when you went from 16 to 8. But it still kept the same beat, the same flow. There wasn't a reloading of the track itself. That must have been hell to code, and it was so fucking worth it for the effect. Maybe, but maybe yeah, not. Well, I, I Very don't know. Good it's hard to say how much effort they put into this uh, for specific things like seamlessly matching up the music. It could have been pretty easy. But I imagine it. I imagine it'd be a thing of if you hit this particular thing, hide track one, go to track two, kind of thing. Yeah, probably. But still, it's, like, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah. It's a very awesome effect, and definitely adds to the overall atmosphere. But yeah, I really don't have much to say, it's just, it's a good game. You should play it. Damn good game. I liked it. Uh, Power Seals will be coming in later as a... Well, I can't say bonus video, because that pretty much means it that it'll, it'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's call it differently so that it will happen. Um, an additional apparently, material video. <laughs> apparently the whole thing was the power seals. Apparently the actual upgrade you get, which is a different type of shuriken, isn't even that good. No, They're it's... homing shurikens that have a shorter range. It's not really homing, it's more like boomerang shurikens. And it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> not worth all that hassle unless you're going for the achievement hunting. Pretty much. But, but yeah, very good game. Yes, it's a, Seriously. It's a Go out, ten check out it out, ten, buy it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> buy, buy Seriously, pick it up, man. <laughs> just pick it up, guys. This is just fucking cool. I'm just definitely going to be looking into it. Just, just play the fucking game. 
<laughs> Play the fucking game, you assholes. Anyway, that's enough for today. Now we're gonna Definitely. take a break while I practice Arcanum. So, uh, <laughs> and actually manage to get around to editing things. Yes. So about <laughs> half a year later, we will start recording Arcanum, and two years later, we'll upload it. <laughs> yeah, about that. And in the meantime, I'm going to be taking over, and you'll be able to see it on my channel. Maybe, if I can be off editing. If not, it'll be streamed, I guess. And nah, I can't stream this late at night. I go mental. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tossing. There's like five or six games I'm tossing up doing. Whatever it is, it will be interesting. And uh, the next time I will be doing something, it'll probably be either some stupid shit game, or... <laughs> the vis Is there another option? <laughs> or the visiting of the greatest firefighting simulator trilogy ever. Oh, I hate to see that, that sounds interesting. Except it's not really that great, but uh... <clears throat> we'll get to we that. Don't that. We don't yeah. mention that part. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Anyway, uh, later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody. See yous. See yous. And remember, if a ghost is near you, tell him to push you. <laughs> <laughs>